We're talking Project Earth from the garden to the table. The Crone Conservatory's new exhibit shows how you can develop your green thumb. Joining us to talk about it is Crone Assistant Manager Mark House. Mark, thanks for coming in again. Good to be with you again. Thank you. Yeah, so what is this? Yeah, by the way, Fantastic job with the butterflies. That uh -huh. show was awesome. I went and loved it. So now we got them cleared out. New show. What's going on? We have, you said 20% of the plants are actually edible? Yes, fruits and vegetables growing in among the flowers. And it's a combination of a vegetable garden and a flower garden. It's aesthetic and functional and it provides a lot of utility. Oh, it's neat. And, uh, you, and you kind of show people the way to nurture plants. It's sort of what the whole Crone Conservatory is about. These are beautiful. I'm not, I, I can't pick that. Well, here's oregano. I know that's edible and delicious. But we, what we've started cooking, I mean, not cooking, well, cooking, yes, but also growing uh, at my house this year is mint and basil. Yes. Yeah, actually, I have basil and mint here. It's in the show. Good looking basil. It's growing alongside of impatiens and several other blooming flowers. And uh, it turned out really well. Yeah, it goes and goes into dishes at home really well. Also, uh, but but best of all, I find that, that growing those two things is isn't that complicated. They it's seem to be hardy plants. Yes, they grow together. They're quite compatible. In fact, a lot of the ornamentals that we've been growing at the Crone Conservatory during our flower shows are based on vegetables. For example, right here we have uh, the ornamental sweet potato vine. And the original sweet potato. Okay. And we have actual peppers growing and the ornamental peppers. Oh. So we put it together. It worked very well. And in fact, today we are having a uh, seminar on urban gardening involving aeroponics. It's a new technology. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. And people can get into that and they don't have to have very much space at all to be able to grow uh, a decent amount of, of yield. Not much at all. In fact, a very small footprint and it doesn't even involve soil. Is that right? Yeah. Aeroponics is different from hydroponics. Somehow you're uh, introducing the nutrients that it needs through the air? Through wet air. Wet air. It's fascinating. Wow. That is fascinating. Do you have to have some kind of glass enclosure for that, I would imagine? No, there is a little bit of a structure to it, but uh, it's pretty simple and it works very well. And that's what we're having a seminar on at 11 o'clock today. It's free with admission. Well, fantastic. All right. Well, thanks for coming in and giving us a sample of what we'll find there. And it smells great. And I'm sure a lot of <laughs> folks, I hope, will learn how to recreate it in their own home. Crone's Edible Landscape Exhibit runs through August 24th. Just head out from Tuesdays through Sundays from 10 until 5. And if you want to catch that uh, thing today, it's a seminar. What time? 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock. Go at 11 o'clock. Thank you very much, Mark. Good to see you.